supposed to know how to spoke. Fuck that shit. It's... Call us back at the number that you had left us for call you back. What the fuck are you saying, you son of a bitch? I wanted to rush that son of a bitch that hooked on finals. What the fuck is wrong with you? The sniper wanted to turn himself in two weeks ago. Couldn't understand a goddamn thing he was saying. Did you see the one black dude who said he saw the sniper and was lying like a motherfucker? You know black folk ain't gonna never see no goddamn shooting. We too busy running. What the fuck you looking like? I don't know! I'll let you know when the news come on. I can't describe it right now. Shit. Got to describe in a van. <laughs> the tail light was out and the registration was expired and you had to get in on the driver's side. Motherfucker, that's your car. What the fuck you doing? Shit is fucked up. Now George Bush wanna go to war with Iraq. And I'm like, we ain't found the first motherfucker yet. You son of a bitch. I don't know, man. They can't never find Bin Laden, but every time I see the motherfucker, he on CNN. Ain't that a bitch? We don't know where he is. He right there on Channel 12, goddammit. Bin Laden got more videos out than Tupac, don't he? I'm like, goddamn. You ever go to the airport since September 11th and the motherfucker's checking you? Look like the very motherfuckers you need to be checking you. <laughs> let me see your ID. Hey, man, let me see your ID. Fuck that shit. I was on a plane. They kicked the dude from the Middle East right off the plane. I thought, man, I'm a black man. That's racial profiling. But I sure hit the button on his ass. Bling! Somebody need to get back there and check out Muhammad. Fuck that shit. He was crying and praying, and that can't be good. Fuck you. Sometimes it ain't racial profiling. Sometimes it's damn fine police work. Good job, officer. I was suspicious my goddamn self. Because I don't trust a motherfucker wear clothes you can't find at the mall. Fuck you. They, they don't sell that shit at the Gap. You must be a terrorist. That shit happened on United and American Airlines. It never would happen on Southwest Airlines. Fuck that shit. All them black people with $27 tickets to Detroit? I got the knife, motherfucker. I got a knife. Fuck you. Black folk would have landed that goddamn plane. <laughs> We'd have been in the airport giving interviews. Look here, I saved all the hostages. Somebody talk to the governor, see if he get one of them felonies off my record. Here, I'm, I'm trying to get my credit together. I can't have this shit. It was, I knew it was going to be a rough ass year because them Chinese people took our spy plane. George Bush got on TV, don't worry about the crew, they're not hostages, they're detainees. I ain't never been to college, but I've been to jail and I know when you detain, you can't just come right home. That's all the fuck I'm saying. Them Chinese people can be hard to negotiate with. You ever try to get an extra pack of soy sauce out of one of them motherfuckers? I got 57 quarts of rice, you going to give me one funky ass pack of soy sauce? You know you, know you speak English, goddammit. Ever since George Bush been in office, shit been fucked up. Pakistan and India on the brink of nuclear war. Two fucking hungriest countries in the goddamn world. Ain't got missiles, ain't got bomb, ain't got a uh, fucking food. <laughs> but they got missiles for your ass. Who gonna have the strength to mash the goddamn button? <laughs> Blow them up. I would, Sahib, but I am so hungry. I need, I need a sandwich, Sahib. I know the cow is sacred, but I would like a happy meal. Please, Sahib. I George Bush is the worst fucking president I ever seen in my whole goddamn life. I don't give a fuck what a pose, so. Wanna start another goddamn war? There ain't gonna be no Bush's child and Paney's dying in that war. It's gonna be Johnson, Smith, and Williams over there dying. And that war is about gas. I don't give a fuck what nobody say to me. It's about gas. It's gonna be black people over there dying for car gas. Ain't even got no fucking car. <laughs> gonna be taking a bus to the war. What time the five come? I got to go kill a motherfucker. He wasn't in a hurry to go to war when he could have went to Vietnam. The motherfucker didn't want to go then. But now, you know what the problem is? Old dudes start wars, young men got to fight them. That's the fucking problem. I bet you wars wouldn't start if the motherfucker that started the bullshit had to go to the battle. Hey, hey, George, uh, Saddam said he's going to meet you at the battlefield. I, 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 I can't go. I'm the president. <laughs> Dick, you go. I can't go. My chest hurt. Fuck that shit. I, I got to take an EKG tomorrow. I can't be fucking around with him. Saddam scared me, but Jerry Falwell scared me too, goddammit. He's a crazy motherfucker too. I don't care what you say to me. They call the motherfuckers cowards. They ain't cowards. They crazy in the motherfucker because they'll die for what the fuck they believe in. You know, when you'll die for what the fuck you believe in, you ain't no punk. They put their belief ahead of their life. Here we believe, <laughs> but not that goddamn much. Fuck you. If you're going to a church where they tell you you got to kill yourself, you're going to the wrong motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going to run down here to Mount Calvary, see what they talking about. Fuck this bullshit. Give me my $10 back. It's a building fund, not a blow up the building fund. Fuck you. The Pope believe he the holiest man in the world. Believe when he die, he gonna sit at the foot of God. But every time you see the Pope, he got that bulletproof glass wrapped around him. 
which tell me that maybe the Pope don't believe all that shit he talking. <laughs> God bless y'all and raise the glass up in the back. Watch this motherfucker right here. The best thing about September 11th is black folk and white folk getting along like never before. You know, cause we done had our problems, but we be damned if somebody new gonna come in. Fuck this shit. These is our white folk. Y'all leave them alone now. Fuck you, shit. It's good for black folk, because they finally got somebody they hate more than us, shit. <laughs> they the new nigga now. I'm so happy to give another motherfucker a shot at that. I be telling them, nigga, one right there. And I don't know, man. Shit is different. Bill Clinton was my favorite fucking president. I don't give a damn what nobody say. He the closest to a black president we gonna ever get. I don't say that because he played the horn. I say that because he got impeached. That mean fired. And came back to work the next day like one shit wrong, didn't he? That's some black folk shit for you, ain't it? Hey, Bill, you in peace. I better be to work tomorrow. I better be to work tomorrow. I bet y'all better have my goddamn check, too. Shit. I'm gonna impeach my foot up somebody's ass. Don't play with my money like that. I ain't never seen a Republican I would vote for. I damn near voted for Bob Dole till he fell off that goddamn stage. <laughs> How you gonna balance the budget? You can't balance your goddamn self. <laughs> Sit your old ass down. You be done hit your fucking head, you son of a bitch. All the bullshit happened down in Florida. All of it do, man. Like them four terrorists go down to Florida, learn how to fly. Don't nobody want to learn how to land or take off. And that ain't suspicious to no goddamn body. We would like to learn how to fly. We're going to need to teach you how to land. We don't need to learn how to land. Well, you're going to need to learn how to take off. We don't need to learn how to take off either. That Alien Gonzalez shit happened down in Florida. I was with that little fuck at first, but that shit went on too goddamn long. I thought the little bastard had his own TV show. That shit ran longer than Roots, didn't it? I ain't never been to Cuba, but I'm assuming it's a pretty fucked up place. You'll try to float over here on a bike tire. That's all I know. Shit. Little fucking lucky it wasn't no Firestone tire. Eh? That would have been a short trip. Aye, aye! Now, they'll let the Cubans stay, but the Haitians got to go back. Ain't that a motherfucker? Ain't that something? And you know them Haitians wanted to come here. They jumped off that boat with church clothes on. Ain't that a motherfucker? I was already here. I don't know. I was already here. Before September 11th happened, we was worried about different shit. Like white folk was down in Florida getting ate up by sharks, which I don't understand because black people won't even get in the water at a pool party. Fuck that shit. Don't splash that shit on me, punk. That's water. What the fuck wrong with you? White folk gonna get in the water. They don't give a fuck what's going on. Could be a sign to say shark. Don't worry about that shark. It's more afraid of you than you are of it. Who tells them bullshit like that? One dude got in the water with his nephew shark, bit his nephew leg up. This motherfucker jumped in the water, killed the shark, sold the leg back home. White folk, y'all some bad motherfuckers. I ain't going through all that bullshit for my nephew. Fuck y'all. I'd have been on the phone with my brother. Something bad that happened down here. Need to get down here and see about your son. It's fucked up down here. I got three kids, I love them all. If a man get one of my kids, I'm going all out. But if a shark get one of my kids, that's pretty much God's will right there. <laughs> I can't do nothing for you, son. He more afraid of you than you are of him. Tell him Charlie sent you, that's all I can do, fuck that. All this shit happened in the world. Like every time I turn around, some little kid getting kidnapped and they fucking with the Amber Alert. Fuck the Amber Alert. Teach these kids how to cuss, that'll stop them from getting kidnapped. You don't believe me, you walk along in the mall, hear some little kid shout out, I don't know this motherfucker! Everybody in here turn around then. <laughs> I don't think he know that man. That ain't that boy, Dad. There's something wrong over there. They don't never kidnap no black kids. They kidnap a little black girl from Philadelphia. This little heifer chewed through the tape. <laughs> I'm going home to my mama! I don't know this motherfucker. Tired of a lot of this bullshit, like all these Catholic priests molesting these kids. Let me tell you something. When you molest a child, you no longer a priest. You're just a dirty motherfucker. I don't give a fuck what you say to me. And you need to go to jail like everybody else. When you're a priest, you're supposed to guide the flock, not fuck the flock, you dirty sons of bitches. Some of the victims get on my nerves. I was molested till I was 37. <laughs> no, you just like dick. That's your goddamn problem. Fuck, you gonna be 37 years old letting somebody touch on your ass, you soft son of a bitch? 
this woman down in Houston, Texas, gonna kill all five of her kids, and she didn't get the fucking death penalty. She didn't get the death penalty, so nobody deserved the fucking death penalty. Talking about she had postpartum blues. Well, bitch, take a nap, shit. You think you're the first motherfucker with kids got on their goddamn nerves? My mom used to say she's gonna kill us every day, but she didn't. She took a nap. Boy, if I don't lay down, I'ma kill one of you little sons of bitches. I swear to God, I'm so sick. If I wake up and this house ain't clean, I'm fucking somebody up. I'm so sick of this shit. Got me cussing like this. No, I'm saved too, shit. Boy, if you cross me a trip to heaven, I will fuck you up, I swear to God. It ain't just white folk, black folk doing their share of simple shit too. Like this motherfucker down in Georgia got the crematorium but ain't burn up one motherfucker. Just, just sprinkling bodies in the woods. There you go. Talk about he can't burn nobody up because his pilot light was out. Ain't that a bitch? Get you a George Foreman grill and fry some of these motherfuckers up. Set it and forget it, goddammit. It amazes me because white folk are always shocked by violence. They can never believe it happened. I, I don't understand. I can't believe it happened. See, black folk don't know to shock us because when you've been black in America, can't shit shock you. That's just the way it is. A spaceship could land in this motherfucker right now. White folk will run up. Black folk, I knew it. I knew it because my knee was hurting. And my knee always hurt when some bullshit about to happen. Matter of fact, what's the day? The third? I'm going to play that number. Fuck this shit. That's See if I can combinate and make me some goddamn money. <laughs> White folk gonna never know when to leave a building. Some men, black folk, we can just tell when a motherfucker crazy, can't we? <laughs> look, at, look at this son of a bitch right here. Fuck this shit. I'm gonna stand next to the time clock. Fuck this. He shoot this place up. I'm gonna be in the parking lot on time and a half. White folk will walk right up to a motherfucker. What are you doing in here with that shotgun? This is the post. Black folk be outside, punch my car! Oh Lord, they done shot the supervisor. I'm gonna apply for the job tomorrow. Fuck that shit. He, he ain't coming back. I knew that son of a bitch was crazy. My knee was hurting like a motherfucker. Wasn't yours? White folk would talk shit to the police. You ever see him do it? Hurry up and write the goddamn ticket, you son of a bitch. Fucking pig. Give me your badge number. Oh, that shit don't work for black folk, do it? <laughs> Give me a bathroom. <laughs> I don't want it anymore. I'll never watch the practice again. Black folk got a whole different relationship with the police. You ever had the police behind you so long, you get suspicious of your goddamn self? <laughs> well, maybe I did kill them motherfuckers. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead on and turn myself in. They're always getting taken hostage and shit like that, man. Fucking around. See, black folk, we ain't going no goddamn where. We leave the country, we go down to Mississippi. Fuck that shit. It's black folk in Mississippi don't even know they free yet, ain't <laughs> You better not be reading like that. You better not kidnap black folk. All you'll get is practice. You damn sure ain't getting no goddamn money. We have your son, he will not come home unless we get three million dollars. Well, put him on the phone. I told you about fucking around with them people down there. Down there acting all light-skinned. Now your ass in the twist. I, I ain't got that kind of money shit. I don't even get paid to the 15th. I'm going to put your mama on the phone. I'm sure she want to say bye. <laughs> Earlene, hurry up. That's a long-distance call now, shit. The boy calling from Pakistan. Now, God damn it, come on. I did go down to Amsterdam, man. I, you can smoke weed in Amsterdam, you know that? And, and, and it's legal. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't smoke weed, but I was down there. And I fucked around and smoked some hash. You don't ever want to do that shit. I was high for 12 hours. I can't think of shit that's fun to do for 12 hours. That ain't a high, that's a job. Like, when the fuck are we going on break? This is some bullshit. I, you know you high when you start crying. I don't want to be high anymore. <laughs> Please, Jesus, I want to come down. I was driving down the street, and the street went up into the sky. <laughs> I can't go up there. I'd never do this shit again. So the next day when I did that shit again, I put me a seatbelt on. Fuck that shit. Why are we drug testing everybody? That's what I don't understand. Drug test doctors and bus drivers, airplane pilots. What the fuck are we drug testing the janitor for? What's the worst he gonna do? Drop the mop? I done dropped the goddamn mop. 
If you're 39 years old and you're a janitor, you should get to smoke a joint, shit. Help you cope with some shit. <laughs> Clean up on our five, motherfucker. I know, I know. Matter of fact, the more fucked up the job you got, the harder the drug you should get to do. If you're a grown man working at a McDonald's drive-thru, they should let your ass tie off somewhere. Hold on a minute. <laughs> you gonna get your happy meal, you little fucker. Wait a second, that shit. Because alcohol is the worst shit going, and I know because I'm an alcoholic. I don't go to them meetings because I ain't anonymous. Fuck that shit. <laughs> you ever been so fucked up you had a stop sign waiting for it to turn green? <laughs> I'm about to run this motherfucker, everybody. Everybody done got to go with me. What type of shit is this? Like I ain't got shit. These kids don't appreciate shit. Too many parents trying to be their goddamn kids' friends. Let me tell you something. Your kids ain't your friends, they're your kids. When they're your friends, they can pay half. Fuck that shit. The Bible says spare the rod, spoil the child. Let me tell you what that means. Fuck them up. That's what it means. We used to get fucked up. Remember your mama call him, I'm beating your ass as soon as I get home. <laughs> You go home, start cleaning the whole house up. She don't get home till six o'clock, your whole day fucked up. You, you can't even play. Catch the ball, fuck that ball, man. I'ma die at six o'clock. You go home, try to go to bed early. Ooh, it's 5.45. I always get sleepy at 5.45. Kids can't never learn shit. Now when they can't learn, the school system say, oh, they got a learning disability, ADD or dyslexia. We was growing up, you couldn't learn, you were just stupid. Remember that shit? They'll tell your mama at the PTA meeting, what's wrong with my son? Your son dumb in the motherfucker, Miss Hugo. We don't even know why he keep coming. I knew I was stupid because I went to the little school in the back of the real school. Had the chain link fence around it. Go at 10, get out at 12. All the students had a big head and little legs. Motherfuckers is retarded in here. <laughs> See, that's the difference. White folk got a child that's kind of slow. They send them to a special school. <laughs> Black folk won't even admit their child got no problem. <laughs> Get your crazy ass in this house. <laughs> Ain't shit wrong with that boy. He always wear a football helmet and cowboy boots. <laughs> you know the motherfucker crazy, 35 years old with Spider-Man underwear on. <laughs> Standing in the screen door eating graham crackers. Ain't that a bitch? Anybody like me got a little boy who you pretty sure something wrong with, but you don't get him tested because you don't want that little square bus pulling up in front of your goddamn house? I got a little son, don't know shit. What happened? I don't know what happened. What are you, stupid or something? I guess I am. I don't know what happened. And now he's playing the flute at school. The flute is the gayest goddamn instrument ever. The flute is the soundtrack for an ass whooping. That's the fucking flute is. I got three kids, been married for 17 years, and now my wife want to adopt some kids. And I, I only just start liking these motherfuckers. Fuck that. And I only like them because they mine, and I know because I got them tested. Fuck that shit. Come down to the doctor, make sure your mama been telling the truth all this time. Where we going, daddy? Don't call me that till the results come back. Shit. What should we call you? Call me the man fucking with your mama. Now get in the car, come on. I ain't adopting no kids. I fuck around telling a little adopted child the truth. Hey man, do you love me? Motherfucker, I don't even know you, shit. Go get something to eat, number four. Get something to eat, number four. <laughs> and I see people on cable TV talking about you can feed a child for 80 cents a day. Where the fuck them kids at? Shit. I'll take three or four dozen of them little motherfuckers. <laughs> kids got their own fucking room. I'm 38 years old. I still ain't got my own goddamn room. My wife in my fucking room all the goddamn time. We was growing up, you didn't even know nobody had their own room. Black people used to put so many bunk beds in a room. Looked like the county jail, didn't it? How long you got? I'm 15, I got three more years, player. Phone call for bed four, phone call. <laughs> Kids get clothes the right size. We was growing up, always some shit you was gonna grow into. Three years old with them goddamn grown man jeans on. They gotta cuff them up 74 times. You grow a little bit, they uncuff them, then you got them fucking white lines down your leg. And everybody can tell how old your ass is. <laughs> You 15, huh? Ain't you 15? The oh, fuck you know I was 15? Got one pair of pajamas supposed to last you your whole fucking life. You was little, they had to feed him. You got to feed your mama, just cut the fucking feet off. The more you grow, the more she cut. You 12 years old, pajama biker shorts on. By the time you 18, got shit on by the G-string and the tube top. This, this is some bullshit. 
kids go to the doctor for everything. We was growing up, you could break your neck, you wasn't going to the doctor. <laughs> your mother get mad, you done broke your goddamn neck. Lay down and take a nap. I know it hurt a hard head, make a soft ass. Now lay